Hello, dear return viewers and fellow weirdo practitioners such as myself and newcomers. It's a shadow of judgment time. This is where I broadcast shit for the week. We just got done with Earth sign, so we're moving to the next sign, right? This is for the week of October 11th to October 18th. So let's see who we are reading for. Air signs, you're up next. You got the King of Swords. The King of Swords. Peace. Uh, All right. So air signs: Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Check your charts. If this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game. Just boop your damn nose, and away we go. Hot damn yes. Okay. So, Gemini, you're up first because we like to go in order. Because if we don't, I get easily confused. Nick, I go fish. What the fuck is on you, Cora? Ugh, oh, fucking cats. There you go, sweetheart. I gotta clean you guys anyway. You're all getting dusty. Oh, okay, well, there we go, Gemini. We got for you. Boop. Oof. Hmm. Gemini. I'm sorry, I'm just acting extra right now. I just, I'm, I've had, this is, I'm on my fourth cup of coffee, so y'all just have to deal with my ass. Anyway, um, Gemini, you got options, you also got someone trying to come back and apologize for some shady shit, and I feel like between those two things, you're the decision maker. You get to tell everybody what is and is not the right thing to fucking do. Congrats. It's always nice to be that guy. Because there's two individuals on either side, and it's like you're the person who's just gonna be like, ah, there are things you don't know exactly. You know? This person with the, those options over here has a lot of conflict going on because of those options. This person over here um, wants booty. Straight up. Like, they come to apologize just for the booty. Knight of Wands coming to take that action right because um, I know you got all the stuff that people wants to buy my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like it's better than yours damn right. like, you know, like that that's kind of what this dude's kind of vibing on but I don't like it it's kind of greasy I don't know let's see dude over yonder he's fighting but he's got something definitely to offer out of all of this goes in the conflict to get shit this person is a wish that it could easily turn into a nightmare, Gemini. I feel like you're weak. You are definitely dealing with two individuals who you are judging um, morally and otherwise. And I feel like you feel good about that. Like, you know, oh my god, I'm like the best person out of all of these motherfuckers who surround me right now. That is outstanding. That's terrible, too. Uh, <laughs> I, mean, I don't think that's a bad attitude to have sometimes, if it's true. What you know, how we do in the bugaloo. Mm. Sorry, I have to get up and get something for the kitties. It's one of those days, you know. I also needed my lighter for my palo, because I like it. But yeah, Gemini, I think you're in this sense of power, almost. Which, I don't even think that you knew was going to come up. Like, if there are two people that um, you are dealing with right now, who are looking at you, like the moral authority or whatever. Like, you know, only one of them's bearing gifts. The other one's just... I don't know. What the fuck is that on my cart? They're just... Uh, well, that's stuck there. They're just, um... This one, I feel like... If you're choosing between two people, this one seems more genuine. This one... I don't know. I don't know if I like them. Like, they want to come back and apologize for their shit. 
They might have been caught up in bullshit. They probably want to run back and be like, I'm sorry, baby. You know, like, you look real good right now. And it's just like, mmm, boy. Yeah, this show... I actually called this a show for, uh, I think, Capricorns. But this bizarre, this whole competition thing that's almost going on, like, it's going to come to an end at some point. Yeah. This person might not try to put up a fight on this side. And this person's just going to be sitting there waiting with a pentacle. Hmm. Like, they'll fight to bring you shit, but they won't, like, convince you. Or, it's someone who looks at what's going around, likes to start arguments about what's going around, and offer compensation up to you. After, like, bothering you about your shit. But they really don't have the drive or the strive to really put up with you the way that you would possibly like, Gemini. Whereas on the other side, this person wants to apologize for their shit, yeah. And they want to come in for that booty. They want to sing your ass to sleep one way or another, right? Either the gentle way or the hard way, but it's one of the two, right? Um, but they're a wish that I feel like... There's something up with them. They got like the nine the cops reverse, and that's like hubris. There's hubris here, and it's like they it's like either they'll feel alone or you're gonna feel alone, but you'll have a pentacle. Someone's gonna have a pentacle in the end. Let's just lay five cards out because I am not sure. I'm sorry, I have like literally made a new friend and they're in Gemini and she's literally rubbing off on me. Like she calls herself a whore all the time, and it's just kinda like, you know, I, like I can't even be mad at that, dude. Like at least you can call it like you see it. Still, be careful, because if you get in a horror movie situation, you're going to be one of the first ones to die. You know? There's an Ace of Cups coming for sure for you, Gemini. But you have no idea which one to fucking choose, I feel like, between these two people. You know, because you got feelings about both of them. Whether, um... They're good feelings or not, I don't know, but you got feelings for them, or they got feelings for you when it comes to whatever decision you choose, right? You know, looking over all of this time and seeing what all could have potentially grown and shit. Um, this person's an earth sign, a Capricorn. Uh, that might, like, um... Mm. Gemini, you could end up choosing, I feel like, this week the wrong person to deal with, and then you feel, then you realize, oh man, like, nah, I should have seen this shit coming. And then you get all pissed off because you literally should have seen this shit coming. Not saying that, like, you're stupid or anything, Gemini, it's just one of those things where, like, you're really good at reading people, and I think this person, like, kind of tricked you a little bit, you know? Just making you feel like, oh, dude, like, what the fuck was the choice in that, man? Okay. Let's see. Libra, la 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 la, Libra, Libra. Let's look at your week up. Oh my god, it worked. That actually worked. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> Libra, what's your week look like? Oh, you got a sneakster too. You got someone who wants to come back for their apologies. Looking back at it, it's like, ah, uh, maybe I should go back. Other than they get caught up in their own shit. One of the two. Let's see. A lot of indecision here, but that's normal. We got King of Cups reverse. I lit something really quick. Hmm. Well, what is this? Hmm. Sorry, I just want to lay yours out, Lever, because I just want to make sure before I keep reading. Yours is, like, yours was a weird mid-October read anyway, I'll let you know. If you haven't seen yours yet. 
Because it seems like there was somebody who was a um, good luck charm or some shit like that. It was probably you. If not you, it was somebody else you were dealing with. Or maybe you dealt with this good luck charm itself. But it was a person who I essentially said was like Spongebob in real life. You can handle them in small doses, but spending all day every day with the motherfucker, you're probably going to commit murder. Right? Because that's how that shit normally goes. This shit's still dirty. <clears throat> anyway, so, but it's like, even though this person could be annoying after long dosages, or large dosages, right, there was something about them that just brought a magic in, and I feel like there's a little bit of that in here, too. Um, someone wants to turn around after some transgressions, or after they got caught up in their bullshit, um, to stand in their truth, and Libra, that could easily be you with the King of Swords right here. Maybe somebody wants to come back to you apologize. Maybe you're coming out of this element of doing, like, underhanded stuff. I'm not saying that you are, because, you know, crosswatchers and shit, right? But, let's just look at the possibilities, of course. Thought experiments, if you will. You know. Someone's coming in to have some truth, and they actually want to deliver that truth over here. Yeah, you know, it's taken them a while to look it over all of this shit to realize it. Um, someone could have been selfish. What? Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Also, could they also Gemini and Aquarius, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Also over here as well. We got the water signs over here along, along with Aquarius as well. Someone could have been really selfish when dealing with a Queen of Pentacle. Or maybe she was the selfish one. And maybe she had a lack of clarity about how things went down because of that, she might not want to express her feelings to anybody or anything right now either. Uh, someone's indecision has got them lacking communication when it comes to some sort of secrets um, that they're holding on to, leaving their own feelings um, unchecked, if you will. So what's this lack of clarity? Because I'm confused about that. Like, who has the wrong idea about what between this... Of cups, this king of cups and this queen of pentacles, right? Could be a Leo involved here or the sun reversed. Someone is not happy. There's a cloud over their sun. And they're snooping and they're spying. It could be you, Libra, who's doing this shit. Not for good intentions, either. You know? Uh, trying to see what is balanced, what is fair. Once again, you could be in that Libra because the scales are right in the dude's hands. Someone was given more than the other because one had red in their pocket. Oh, but someone, but something did not turn in that person's favor. And there was a lot of petty arguments. Hmm. Did you guys deal with a Leo that started a fight? Or some shit? Or um, spread rumors or said some negative things or whatnot in order to get the bonus that they think they deserve because they thought somebody else had a chip on their shoulder or red in their pocket? Because that did not work in their favor and now everyone's just launching sticks at each other. Even if it's for show, it's still like a back, almost like back and forth kind of stuff. You know, no, co no choreography, no real structure to it, just utter confusion, utter chaos. I'm grabbing one more. I'm going to use my after deck. What was the... Yeah, just so someone wouldn't pack up and go the fuck home. Huh. That's strange. That might be what you're dealing with, Libra, but I really think that it has something to do with the reading I did for you guys before. Sorry, Edward. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But that's your week right there, Libras. Clarity, it's, it's your turn. Yay. Then we have water and fire after that.
So Aquarius, what you doing this week? Hmm? Hmm? Oh, okay, well, you know. That really wasn't what I was going for, but I guess we're going that way. Hmm. Feeling betrayed after there was no love found, possibly. Uh, but trying to hold up your strength when it comes to that shit, though. Might not even be trying to offer your cup out, either. Wheel of Fortune is turning on this kind of event, though. And even though there wasn't a cup offered, there is something else that is being available to you. One way or another. But something's being offered. It's just taking the bit, that's all. That's all. Meanwhile, you're trying to hold up your strength, possibly, and keep your guard up. Which I must say, must be a lot of energy. Right? Um, you're not making any moves to collect any booty at this time. Sure, the booty be there, but, you know. Let's not waste precious time on that booty when there's more valuable booty out there. Um, something isn't working, and there's some wrong judgment coming in, Aquarius. I don't know if this is you or not. It's gonna maybe just be a scenario that you're watching, though. Like, but I'm not sure. But, let's see. But you are teaching people a thing or two, whether you know it or not. I feel like, just with this, I feel like you're given to people who sh you shouldn't be. Just because of the simple fact that it looks like they need it. And you're not giving the people who might need it just because they got right in their pocket. Right in that dude's pocket right there. Like a little ticket saying like, hey, he's got something of value. Not as much as you, but he's got something of value. Whether it's a picture whether it's a special coin it doesn't matter you don't know what that ticket's hooked to so you can only assume we all know what we think about people who make fucking assumptions right they put the ass in it anyway um there's some betrayal that the wheel of fortune's turning on and i feel like it's no longer working the way it used to, like now that a new cycle is starting to turn, it doesn't have the same carrying capacity, and it's got you questioning what is and is not fair, my dears, right? Now, with the strength card, you are holding up your strength and you're keeping your guard, but it's causing you to become a bit of a teacher in understanding what is and is not fair and how to cater to one's own fucking soul, because that's a little bit important, you know, if you're, if you're gonna be like, dude on top, you gotta be careful. Or, this dude is start trying to teach you different ways, like, here's this female, let her prosper with her apple-holding bird in, like, pentacle garden. Here is the man. Give to those who might need. But the problem is the man was giving, giving to the woman, which I think she was in blue, because she had the garden, or something. There was no love being given, but there is, uh, but there is something that's being offered here. This... Knight of Pentacles, but the thing is, is like, that's the wrong idea. It's like, if someone thinks that this knight's gonna write up and give this bitch a tenth pentacle, like, no, it's that's not happening, I don't feel like. At all. I don't know what's going on with you, Aquarius, but I feel like that's the kind of scenario I'm picking up for you right now, you know? Yeah. There is an open door in this, for sure. Possibly marriage involved right something to help someone's mind be at ease but unfortunately someone is a fucking brat throwing fits and shit right willing to come up and like try to spread good news after that um, in order to stop any sort of forward movement or any sort of change mmm Aquarius you are Trying to handle somebody who you now realize, um, there's no point even handling them anymore. Like, you might have an open door to escape for your mentality. And then I know, it's just like, uh, 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 
well, let me tell you how much of a bitch you are, but I love you. Just to keep that shit up. Like, yeah, you can go fly to this place. You can go make a new life for yourself. You can do all of that shit, but I just want you to know I will be right here waiting for you. So please stay with me. They probably say that some ignorant shit like that just to get you to stick around. It's just kind of like, what the fuck? Or you could come with me. I'll pay a ticket for you to come with me. And then they, no, 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 no. Just leave that shit alone. I feel like Whoever it is you're dealing with, Aquarius, it's like, um, they're fucking annoying to a fault. But I feel like it's also almost a ghost for you, too. Like, you've already done this kind of shit before. You're tired of doing this shit. You're tired of trying to handle things with people in a certain way. You might be trying to go to get enlightenment. You might be trying to go to find whatever it is you can. But as long as you're around this person or this person is able to access you, I feel like they're going to keep trying to halt you up with shitty behavior and then pretty fucking words. Because somehow they always get you with that shit. They always come back acting like, you know, oh, well, I didn't mean to do that. Yes, you fucking did. You know exactly what the fuck you did. Don't tell me you didn't do that shit on purpose. Yeah, if you did shit on accident, you still did it on purpose. That's exactly why fucking drunk drivers still go to fucking jail. Who cares if you blacked out, you still did something, you know? But, I, I don't know, I've had four cups of coffee, so... Sorry. Anyway, air signs, that's the end of your reading. So, if you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. You don't have to if you don't want to, no pressure, of course. Um, It'll be a few more days before I decide to start taking more personal reads. I'm going to take a break from that. I only got a few more left anyway, but, like, I need to get ready for a wedding. So I probably won't be available to do them as often as I have been. So I'm sorry for that. But I will see you guys later. I love your faces. Bye-bye.